Alright guys, I'm Benby, welcome back to the Cradle of Ruin. Yeah, so, um, I, I just had a feeling that they had fixed the English. Or maybe, I, I don't know. Remember the last time I played this, it just loaded up in Japanese and I, I did not see an option to change it. But now it's clearly in English. Um, yeah, even... I think these were in Japanese too, I can't remember. Cradle. Okay, let's let's start. See what happens. Should probably hide this again. Automatically hide. Yeah, that's better. All right. Come on. Go away. There we go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I saw this last time. Spooky. Dong, dong, dong. There we go. There's English. I heard the sound of old clock. In the blurry consciousness, only the sound kept ringing in the distance. I finally waked up and realized that I have been here since the very beginning. I've been living here since I was born. It is dark and freezing, and we are only allowed to live in such a place. We were born here and forced to create hallucinations, feel that this is the only way to keep surviving. Oh yeah, I can relate. Then being brainwashed, thinking that the world outside is a land of horror. Thinking that leaving this place would be a mistake. These are constantly planted into our heads. We cannot leave here. No, we didn't even think about leaving, but just waiting for death passively. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> In this prison-like barren land... We just sunk in the fake happiness. Just like this, we slowly moved towards the ruin. Tasting the non-existent satisfaction without even noticing how unfortunate we are. This has given me salad fingers flashbacks. <laughs> um... Hello? Wake up. Wake up. It is morning now, Hotaro. You should get up. <gasps> is that my waifu? You finally wake up. Good morning, little sleepy. I have tried to wake you up for a long time. Everyone else is having breakfast. Who are you? <laughs> oh. Oh, my little boy. <laughs> you are you are not awake yet. It should be good morning, mother, right? Is that my mom? Okay. Hurry to wash your face and change your clothes. <laughs> Can you do it by yourself? <laughs> yeah? Mom! Oh, you, you, you have said that you are not a child anymore. Ah, you're embarrassing me. Uh-huh. I'm not laughing at you. Take it easy. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what voice I'm giving. <laughs> then I'll just go. Come if you are ready. The breakfast today is everyone's favorite. <laughs> the breakfast today is everyone's favorite. The sandwiches. If you are too late, it must be eaten up by everyone. <laughs> yeah. All right. The person who wakes up, the person who wakes me up is my mother. The morning has begun just as usual with mother's voice. An ordinary day in this white box. I have to get changed soon and go to the dining room. One day. Is that, is that really my mom? Why, why is she not wearing any pants? Come on, mom. Go put some pants on. 
are you doing? Ah, uh, they're waiting for me. Hurry to the dining room. The dining room is the west of this room. <laughs> oh, yeah? Oh, okay. It's a uh, strange click. These little bottles are lined up in cute shapes. It's made from extracts of flowers by mother out of her interest. The liquid smells good. Smells so good. It has incredible scents that calms everyone. The old fashioned clock. The sound of the clock has remained in my head. <laughs> it's hard not to laugh with these translations. It's like they're not they're not terrible, but they're just slightly off because mother, mother helps me clean it up every day. There is nothing. <laughs> I never thought so hard about the trash can. What are these? The note written by mom, in agreement with mother. Number one, do not be picky about food. Eat everything. Number two, do not disturb mother and sisters when they work. Number three, do not go out at night. Brush teeth and go to bed early. Isn't that, isn't that like two different ones? Shouldn't that be three and four? Is that just me? I don't know. Well, easy enough. Let's go uh, utilize the bathroom. I've already been to the bathroom, so it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. All right. It's okay, guys. Uh... How's that written? Hotaro's room. <gasps> Is that a person on the table? Oh, no. Okay, it's a doll. The doll Tsuna loves. It looks real as if it could move. Just staring at its eyes, I'm about to be sucked in. That's kind of creepy. Kind of creepy. Uh. Um. Do I want to smell the toilet? Yes. <laughs> there is a sour smell. Uh, uh, okay. What's in there? The rubbish bin. All right. This might be interesting after all. What's this thing? Oh, that's a fire. Um, pretty, pretty sure that's like a fire thing. I don't know. I've seen him in Japan before. Written Angelica's room. <gasps> Let's go smell her toilet. Can we? <laughs> Do you want to smell the toilet? Yeah. <gasps> there is a smell of honey milk. Ah! Honey milk. <laughs> God. One is sour and one is honey milk. They both need to see a doctor, if you ask me. The book called Noah's Garden. You know I want to read? Mm, kinda. In this story, there are different endings in a closed space. There will be the truth in the end. They were kept in the box. Everything seen or heard are all dreams. Being tied to a bed, sleeping, just being nourished and alive, like experimental objects. Several people in a closed space what will be triggered? What will be triggered? It's a good question. They are not the ones who witness all this, but the observers outside the box. I don't know what the hell I just read. Okay, it looks like there's a door. Does this go outside or something? Okay. What about this over here? Why, why was there not like a puff of smoke? Why are there so many identical rooms? There's no need to get in the shower room, okay? I just want to smell people's toilets. Oh, no toilet in here. Uh, there's lots of literature, though. And I guarantee I'm not going to read all of it. Okay, so, looks like we go this way. Just do right to left. This, this is kind of pretty. Yeah. There's a lot of water in the bucket. It is the well. You can get water from here. And now we know. Now we know. 
Allegedly, it can control electric machines. Mother said Suna and I cannot touch it. I'll touch it. Alright, I think the orange cloud thing is telling us to go in here. Ah, here you are. We are waiting for you, Hotaru. Take your seat. Mm, okay. If you suggest. Dang, Angelica. Haha, <laughs> good morning, Hotaru. Didn't you sleep well last night? Yeah. Good morning. <laughs> Is there any sandwiches? That's all I care about. Ah, it's Otaru. <laughs> you little sleepy bad boy. <laughs> bad boy. <laughs> hey, Maggie, can I have Hotaru's sandwich? Uh, you little bitch, don't touch my sandwich. I'll kill you. Hotaru overslept. He is a bad boy, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, I'm a bad boy. No, Tsuna, that's for Hotaru. If you're still hungry, you can just have mine. Really? Maggie's, can I? Wow, great. Haha, <laughs> you are all very pumped. <laughs> Said that one girl with a lot of enthusiasm. But Suna, don't be too caprice. Caprice on? You're making Maggie confused. She can't process it. Her tiny brain is overwhelmed. But Suna's gonna be hungry with only this much. It's not enough. <laughs> hey, are you spoiling this little devil? The food is precious. Are you sure? Of course, Mi Mikuri. Don't worry about it. I'm fine. I can still do my job without that much. It's okay. Well, whatever. Ah. Mother is my favorite person. With her creepy blue eyes and um, rough outline and stretched resolution. The handiest and brightest who can do everything. No matter being in charge of the life here or doing laundry, cooking, it's all mother. Thanks to mother, we can keep living. Oh, okay. This is Angelica. Well, equally scary as mom. She is mother's best female friend. Her steady personality seems to sink in rhythm with mother. She is like an old grandma figure in these people. At least that's what I think in my mind. All right, next creepy girl. This annoying one is Suna. Don't take her lightly. She is actually older than me. Mother said, I am more mature spiritually, so I am better. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Thank you for choosing me as the super superior sibling. The one looks distant is Mikuri. I'm not quite sure whether she is a male or female. <laughs> Uh, well, I guess we all have our secrets, don't we? Her, <laughs> its appearance is very intimidating. Being stared by her, it is like being stared by a snake. Don't look directly into her eyes or you will be, be killed instantly. In the white space, five of us living together, or live together. We finish breakfast as usual. A regular morning, a regular dawn. Yeah, nothing out of the normal here. Blink of an eye, another day passed by. Yeah. Time flies when you're just staring at each other. Well guys, this is, this is gonna be an adventure, that's for sure. Hang in there with me. Don't leave me all alone. I'm so scared. <laughs> I'm so scared. I'll see you next time. Bye.